Well, hello fellow Martians and welcome back to my channel and in today's video it's going to be a writing vlog and an author to tag vlog. So hi my fellow Martians, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I posted a writing vlog and I didn't do a vlog last week because I was taking a break. Now for today's video, I will be doing a writing vlog because I have a stream with Cherry and I'm very very excited as well as answer the uh, NaNoWriMo survival tag that I found floating around YouTube so that will be a fun thing to do. For today, I will not be just focusing on TIOH, I will also be doing the last um, Promptober challenge because I did the rest yesterday. And then I realized October has a 31 in it. I haven't done a 31, so I'm going to do it today as well. I'm going to work on a blog post for Patreon as well because I realized that what better way to use my uh, blogging experience th than to you know post it on Patreon because I can't go live on Patreon during the time that I wanted to. So I thought blogging would be the best way you know to update everyone. So I'm gonna go ahead and prepare for the stream and prepare the questions as well and I'm also gonna join uh, Sherry on stream yet so I'll see you guys. It's the first time we're going to collab and I hope to do this you know if she wants to. <laughs> um, I will be working on a lot of stuff today and chocolate has currently consumed my brain and also guys say hello to the vlog. So we are now on the first sprint. Um, we did a 25 minute one. It's it's currently at 12 minutes, and I've written something for from the Promptober day 31 rather. And I'm going to answer the first question for the NaNoWriMo survival kit tag. Um, it was done by writer uh, Holly Davis, and I will link her channel in the description below so you can check her channel out. The first question is, what are you working on for NaNoWriMo this year? I will be working on the sequel to Project IOH, which is Project SOH, and I'm very, very excited. I have actually started drafting the story, you know, two weeks, three weeks ago, because I wanted to write something different other than TIOH and my Promptober challenge. So I guess that's technically cheating. But not really because I'm going to be a Nano Rebel this year. Again, this is the second time I will be joining NaNoWriMo and I will be a Rebel again. Hopefully by next year I won't be a Rebel anymore and I will follow the rules to a T. But this year I'm going to be a Rebel as well. Next is what apps do you use to help you write and stay motivated? Well, I don't really use apps. Um, right now I will be using the Forest app. I purchased the Pro version. And I will be using it throughout NaNoWriMo and throughout the time that I will be writing my other stories as well. Um, I guess you know you can call YouTube an app. So I will be doing the sprint replays as well and the live streams, you know, to keep me motivated. Because if I am just going to do it without time timers right now, um, I don't have my own laptop. So I usually write here in the in the studio in my mini office space. And whenever I'm in this space, I cannot write, you know, like just write. So most of the time, I use timers. Um, what else? Um, I use YouTube for uh, music. Uh, I like to listen to different um, ambient music, like cafe and stuff like that. Um, you know, just to keep you know my mind relaxed 
and so I can get more inspiration to write. The next question is where do you like to write and what's your favorite writing spot? Most of the time, you know, when, when I used to have my own laptop, I write everywhere around the house. I write in the balcony, in the bedroom, in, this, in my office space, and then in the dining room. When I used to have my own laptop, my favorite writing space is in the dining room because the dining room and the living room are in just one space. So I get to be with my son, I get to play with him, and I get to do writing done. And I also get to, I also, you know, get my work done. My favorite writing spot for now is here, my office space. And from time to time, I go to the bedroom and write on my own computer table because it's by the window. So. That's the questions for now. Let us go back to writing. I will see you guys in a bit. the second sprint this is only the second sprint and we are already uh, going to hit the two hour mark we enjoy the chat and this is the kind of stream that I actually enjoy like yes we don't get a lot of a lot of writing done but I enjoy the conversations that we have on stream so that's a good thing so now I'm going to answer some more questions for the NaNoWriMo survival kit tag your questions are here if so if I'm looking here that's why the fourth question is, what are your writing space must-haves? Well, of course I have to have all of my pens here, my papers, my notebooks, my typewriter. I just like seeing it. This is then around the season 2020. Um, I will be needing a lot of these uh, friction pen. I already ordered online and it's going to arrive, I think, in three to five days. So I'm very, very excited. Um, I need to have a comfortable chair that I'm sitting on. I also need water. I also need water and a few snacks. So yeah, and of course a laptop. Number five, what are your favorite drinks and snacks to have when writing? Water. Water is definitely one of them because uh, I have UTI, so I always need to have water with me even though I don't want to. And water, you know, wakes me up every now and then. Um, sometimes I have like iced coffee or dalgona with me and if I can order a frappuccino, I will. Sometimes it's milk tea, um, snacks, anything with caffeine, mostly chocolate, like cupcakes and stuff like that. Sometimes I, if there's extra food downstairs, I get rice, you know, get you pumped up for the day. If there's a banana downstairs, I get, the ba I get a banana. Um, yeah, that's just all. Next question is, what are your favorite writing distractions? My son. My son is definitely one of them. Next is the bed because I love sleeping. I love napping. Uh, YouTube. I love scrolling on YouTube. I like watching, you know, author two videos. I need to catch up on that as well. Uh, I listen to music. I stare outside for no reason. I like staring into the distance. Uh, sometimes I read, but most of the time I play Mobile Legends. Um, because I'm trying to catch up on my rank on Mobile Legends. So if anybody's playing Mobile Legends, let me know. If it's not Mobile Legends, it's Wild Rift. Uh, next question is, what are your favorite ways to get back on track? Most of the time I just sit down and, you know, stare at the paper or the screen and then I put on a timer, whether it's on a replay or it's on my Forest app. Um, those are the best ways for me. Sometimes, if I really can't go back into, you know, being you know, focused, I get up and I start moving because I realize if I stay too long in one place, like for example, my office or dining room, I won't get any writing done because I just want to go and do something else. So 
one of you know the ways for me to get my focus back is to do something else like do chores and play with my little one uh, so yeah so those are the few questions i will be answering two more later um, but right now we're gonna continue this um this stream and you're gonna see me finish the promptober day 31 it is the last prompt for this challenge and i'm very excited so let's go ahead and finish Okay, my Martians, so you saw that I finished the Promptober Day 31, which means the Promptober challenge is over. I can't believe it. Let us open it up. You can see this, um, wait, wait a second. this is where I started. This is where I, this is the page that I started the Promptober challenge. And then here are the pages for the monthly challenge you can see that's how thick it is and i'm very very proud of myself that i was able to finish this i am i'm very happy i'm so proud um i'm gonna reread all of this again and you guys can let me know what you want to what you want to happen do you want me to finish this first before i put it out there or do you want to read it right away um i can you know do it on patreon as well let me know and i'm just so excited i've been thinking of putting it on wattpad but these aren't finished stories yet so yeah i think this will be some of them will be short stories some of them will be novellas and novels and novellas so i can't wait so let us answer the two remaining questions before i go and do the ti which writes or maybe the blog for patreon first the eighth question is, what are your writing rewards and milestones? Um, for me, I celebrate every 500 words that I write, 500 or 1,000 words that I write because I am, I'm of the mindset that if you write, you did good. Yes. But once I reach like 1,000, my next goal is 5,000 and then 10,000. So you see where I'm going. Those are my milestones and my reward system is easy. I buy something that I love. Um, milk tea is one of them. I buy a new notebook, a new pen. I chill for at least two days. Well, that's normal. My weekends are my day off, so that's normal. Um, what else? Uh, if I reach a goal in one day, I don't do any writing anymore. I just spend the day with my son and do my other hobbies, which is relaxing in itself. Um, that's I have a simple reward system. Uh, most of the time, I would ask my husband to bring me on nature rides, and he's very, very um, uh, generous with that. He was all he would always, you know, say, um, "Do you want to go on a ride?" I'm like, "Yeah, sure, let's go here." And he knows that I need it because I am always at home. He works outside, so he gets to see the world, but I just stay at home, so he knows that I need you know, to get out of the house every now and then. And for the ninth question is, well, it's not, not really a question, but the ninth part of the NaNoWriMo Survival Kit Tag is to tag three friends. So I'm going to tag Sherry. I am also going to tag Cache Warren. And I am also going to tag um, the Naked Firefly. Those are three. But if you are watching this and you would like to do the tag, consider yourself tagged. Again, this author tube tag was made by writer Holly Davis, and her author tube channel will be in the description below. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and prepare my uh, Promptober vlog for today because I won't be able to do a live uh, session for Patreon this week. So a vlog it is. So, I'll see you guys.
Martian. So we just finished the stream with Sherry. We went on for three hours. It was amazing. I enjoyed streaming with Sherry. Sherry's uh, channel will be in the description below. So go ahead, check her out, subscribe to her. And during the end of the stream, a package arrived. Mm, I told my husband that I need friction pens like this one. I need more of these because these are the kind of pens that you can erase when you're writing and I told him to buy me like two more for November and he couldn't always get go to like the bookstore to get me one so what he I asked him is it okay if I purchase an order online and then he found me a box set of it like 12 pieces in one box that's awesome it's like for two dollars and two dollars in America okay but here's like 90 pesos so I'm like this is great and I expected it to arrive by November 3 but amazingly it arrived here and it arrived also with a bookmark this is the bookmark let me remove it so you can see it she sent me a bookmark with it and it's so cute now i have a bookmark for my um for my books whenever i read so to love moon shop thank you very much this was an awesome awesome uh, package thank you for the free beads i love it i will definitely be buying more from your shop thank you so much uh, so yeah, I also counted the words for my Pumptober challenge, day 30 and 31. And I am happy that I was able to do the challenge. I was able to finish it. I am so proud of myself. I'm going to update Instagram later on it. And I'll also play with my bubble wrap. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and take care of my son because he's getting frustrated in the bath. <laughs> so I'll see you guys later. Okay, fellow Martians. So it is now 3.21 p.m. I fell asleep as you can see i just washed my face so i will be much more awake um so right now i am going to update instagram on my progress for pumptober and then i'm going to post my uh, martian book club blog on patreon and i'm also gonna update um my patrons on who's willing to sign up for um big reading so yeah, let's get into it. So you've seen that I've updated Patreon and updated my um, Instagram. I now remembered that I wasn't able to do my devotions today. As you can see, there's no daily verse and today's love on my uh, bullet journal. And I was supposed to do it every day before I start the day. However, I woke up I woke up late today and so that's why. I am going to do it now before I proceed to my TIOE tree rides. And I'm also um, my goal is, you know, to do at least four more sprints. Because I did three today. And yeah. I did uh, 225s and 120 uh, um, a while ago so I'm going to do 125, 110 and 215 sprints so uh, let's do it let's, let's do the um, meditation first
okay my martians so i am i am done with my uh, devotions for today now i am going to start uh writing for tioh um and i realized that i won't be able to use my force app today because i am filming um a vlog and the force app is on this phone Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the timer here on my iPhone and of course my little one is awake so I'm going to do 125, 110 and then 215 so I'll be right back. Hello Martians, so it is now 4.52 and you know what that means, it's, it's time uh, for me to start writing for the day. I wrote 1714 words for the TIOE tree rewrites today, I am so happy. Um, but I am not yet done with my rewrites, so that means I'm going to be carrying this over during NaNoWriMo. It was something I was trying to avoid but I couldn't, I had so many days that I wasn't writing. And whenever I wrote, I just wrote like a few hundred words and that's why I didn't make it to my deadline. Um, but that's okay, I'm going to take each day one step at a time during NaNoWriMo. Um, I'm going to be a rebel, so at least, you know, that's a sign that I can still do this during NaNo. Um, but I can't help but feel frustrated that I wasn't able to finish this because I really wanted to leave it alone during November um, if I can catch up tomorrow then that would be a good thing but I don't think so because tomorrow is Saturday it's supposed to be my day off but it's also the last day of October so probably I would still get some writing done um, but that is all for today I have done everything that's on my list I did my October challenges I did the rewrites I did my stream with Sherry I answered the NaNoWriMo survival kit tag on this blog so I am pretty satisfied with my progress for today. So that's all I have for you today, folks. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and let your thoughts be heard in the comment section below. Will you be doing the NaNoWriMo Survival Kit Tag? How was your Preptober? Will you be doing a last writing uh, attempt for tomorrow, Saturday? Saturday, it's Saturday my time already tomorrow. <laughs> I live in the future. Let me know in the comments and I would love to know your thoughts. My book, The Impact of Her, is available on Good Novel and on Wattpad. I keep forgetting to add my Wattpad link in the description, but I will do that when I upload this video. Follow my trio on social media. Everything will be listed down below, so check it out. I don't usually do writing vlogs, but I update most of my writing on Instagram. So if you want that, check out my Instagram. Check out Barbara Howard's book and Jennifer Mooney's book in the description below get your copy give it a read give it a review it's a big thing for authors so it's an it's a support in itself but anyways thank you so much for watching i will see you guys on the next video which will be during nanowrimo stay safe stay creative and happy writing my marketing